she works with wool and flax with willing hands. And we had sisters in connection with um, flax. They, they really start at the beginning. They grew the flax and then did the work that was connected with, and it's hard work connecting with, uh, connected with preparing the flax, uh, getting it into uh, threads and skeins, and then into weaving. These two sisters, uh, specifically Sister Albina Heft and Sister Petrina Heft, I think they must have learned this. They came from Europe, and they just kept doing that uh, practice, and I think had learned how to do it there, and um, kept it up. Once these two died, though, we haven't uh, managed to keep it, but there's nothing they would make linen runners, linen towels, and we know that that's a wonderful cloth. It's, uh, you can't beat it, it's so absorbent, and they made very nice pieces. We also had sheep, uh, so in that process, getting the wool, and they would dye the wool, do all the work in connection with it, carding it, and we had a person, uh, it's funny how these coincidences happen, but about a year ago, this woman uh, returned some mittens to us, and she had said, the nun sheared the sheep, spun the yarn, dyed it, and knit away, and they had gotten some mittens from the sisters, and you can see them right here. She said, you can't, can you imagine? Now, this is 75 years ago, and she still had these mittens. And she said, we loved the longer ones, as the snow did not get inside your sleeves, and the natural lanolin made them close to waterproof. And so that's her memory, but you can even see they've mended them and darned them, but she still had them after 75 years. I think that is quite interesting. This was a, a throw or an afghan. We had given this as a gift to uh, Bishop Bartholomew, and when they uh, were dealing with his estate, they returned it to us. But this represents wool from sheep that we had raised.